Good morning and welcome everyone once again to today's conference. My name is Valerie Nasea and I'm with the Maryland Asthma Control Program along with the Maryland Asthma Executive Committee. I am pleased to introduce our speaker of the hour, Dr. Joshua Sharfstein. Dr. Sharfstein was appointed by Governor Martin O'Malley as Secretary of the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene in January of 2011. His prior tenure was with President Obama, who, March 2009, appointed Dr. Sharfstein to serve as the Principal Deputy Commissioner of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the agency's second highest ranking position. But many of us remember Dr. Sharfstein when he served as the Commissioner of Health for Baltimore City, where he led efforts to expand literacy and pediatric primary care, to facilitate the transition to Medicare Part D for disabled adults, and to engage college students in public health activities. Dr. Sharfstein is a graduate of Harvard Medical School, and we are lucky to have him with us today. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Joshua Sharfstein. Challenging because you don't know who's going to get into trouble. 
The only way to really reduce the serious statistics is to make life better for a whole lot of kids, particularly. Um, and then I agree with the point that as uh, people um, age, there's still significant asthma problems. I'm not as familiar with them from a clinical perspective, but um, it's very important for both the social environment and access to care that that's maintained over time. Um, one of the things that is, is well known is that in Maryland and in Baltimore, there are very high rates of preventable um, uh, hospitalizations and emergency department visits for asthma, some of the highest rates out there. So as we make progress, we should be able to see those come down. And at the health department, we're going to work across all the various parts of the department, not just the school health program, but the Medicaid program, the public health program, the environmental health program, to think about how we can make, make progress. Um, let me um, thank you then for taking your time today to figure out what you can do to, to um, help uh, penetrate uh, through this serious problem. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing some of the statistics start to turn around. Um, I had a chance last night to catch up um, and read the five-year asthma plan. How many people have read that? Is familiar with it? For the city, some. Um, it's on the website. It's definitely worth reading. There are a lot of um, important strategies that are there. I think what's missing in there is the um, uh, implementation, and that's what sort of has to come from that plan. And I think today is sort of an example of what can be done to move a lot of those strategies forward. So I thank you there. So um, this is really important. Um, it is, you know, you don't know which child you're seeing that could have the problem. Every, every child, every patient is extremely important. I thank you for coming, for all the work that you're going to do to keep people in Maryland safe.